It's showtime! Hey yo, what up, Fight Worship? We're Boxing Fanatic. I'm back with another one. Got some breaking news, according to reports. Devin Haney has been returned. It's oh, no longer with the one. And Ryan Garcia looks like he's retired. And Devin Haney said he's taking a year off from boxing. Let's talk about one two, one two, one two. About it. So, I guess the commission did what they felt was right in returning Devin O by the decision that was made for Ryan Garcia using the supplements, the PED, the Ostrin, and I guess they felt like they had to do what was right. Which Devin can't get back that molly walk that he got that took place April 20th in front of the whole world. I don't know if he can come back and still be the same after taking that beating. That way, in that fashion, as you about to see in this clip where um, Ryan Garcia just dismantled Devin Haney. Had this man face down ass up on the canvas and he got dropped like five or six times in that fight the worst that we ever seen someone put a whooping on somebody in, in that fashion you know I just felt like Devin Haney didn't have a right game plan overlooked took Ryan Garcia lightly and just they just looked past Ryan Garcia because of all the antics that he was doing and saying. But it was just Ryan Garcia just trolling. And in my honest opinion, I still don't feel like Ryan Garcia took the PEDs. I think he took those weight loss supplements to lose weight. Ryan, if Ryan Garcia would have known, you know, that it was that Ostring was in those supplements. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have took it. And as the doctors clearly stated that basically that is a a itty drug to be taken to try to uh, basically enhance your performance in a fight, which you had a lot of lot of um, guys that use, you know, performing enhancement drugs to, you know, increase their mass muscle, not in a performance to where you know it's going to help you win in the fight that don't have anything to do with it i just felt like ryan garcia was the better man he did what he had to do and from the jump devin defense was suspect his chin was suspect ryan garcia devin threw that jab he counted him counted him with that hook you're gonna see devin eyes go in the back of his head that threw Devin off the whole the whole fight from, from that first hook he kept getting hit by the same hook over and over again the same time the same night the whole night I mean if you keep getting hit by the same shot that means you got to do some reevaluation as far as your defense whoever training you you know they should have did the proper training I always felt like somebody have Somebody had an antidote to your fighting game. If they faced you six times and gave you a standing eight count, bust your eardrum, they pretty much know how you fight. But if Ryan Garcia was this spectacular in this fight and that he dominated, I'm pretty sure he know how he fight. He know how you fight. So it's like you can't blame it on the PEDs. Just take your loss like a man. But Ryan Garcia said that Devin lost. In Mexico, he paid to get the O off. I mean, that, that one off. Now, he just got another one off. So, he's back being undefeated. But, in the eyes of the public, you know, he still got whooped. He got beat up bad. 
which is that he should have stopped the fight. Ryan Garcia showed him, hey, look, you're going to stop the fight? Ryan Garcia did what he had to do. And um, it's crazy how, you know, they'll blame this and blame this and say this and say that. Floyd helped him do this. Floyd helped him do that. Nah. This man just did what he had to do. Devin Gain wasn't and wasn't what it usually be. And they didn't say that against Loma when they beat Loma. Devin was the bigger guy. They didn't say that against George Cambosis. Devin was the bigger guy. And you can clear. I made a video about it where he talking about, oh, you too small. He clearly saying it in the video. You too small. You too small. And now, you know, Devin was supposed he had a, you know, mandatory to fight Sandor Martin, the guy that retired Mikey Garcia and um, mm -hmm. knocked down Teofima Lopez twice. So I wonder what the WBC is going to do now, being that Devin just announced that he's going to be retired for a year. Is they going to strip him, take that belt away from him and give whoever got the interim WBC belt, make them the full champion? Let's see if they do that. I just feel like there shouldn't be no way that he can still be retired and still have the WBC belt. Um, I know Ryan Garcia probably thinking in his mind like, man, you know, it's all they all full of they all going against him. But you now you're gonna have Bill Haney. He he gonna bring up Floyd Mayweather. He gonna say this and say that. And you just I'm gonna do a video about you know Eddie Hearns talking about that fight with Sandor Martin and Devin Haney because it went to a purse bid and didn't nobody really bid on it. But Bob Aaron, Bob Aaron said he would put up, I think it was like 2.5 or 3 million, you know. Um, and then Eddie Hearns and Matchroom, they didn't want to put up the money. They said they wasn't in the business of losing money. And if Devin got his own promotional company, he should put his own money up. If I was Devin, put his, if you do that, put your own money up, you get 100% of the revenue. Why not? Put your own money up and, you know, pay for everything and you'll get all your money back 10 times fold. Floyd, do it. Why not? Bet on yourself. Be a better man and bet on yourself. If you feel like that's what you should do is if, if you're not going to get the money that you think you deserve right now, being that you just took a major loss and ain't nobody really interested mm -hmm. in seeing you fight. And Bill Haney and his daddy thinking, that they still the face of boxing. I don't know where, know how, when he just got molly whopped all around the world. It's crazy. Um, y'all let me know about what you know what just took place, you, you know, and about this whole commission thing, taking that that one away, giving Devin back his old, and making him under undefeated again. Y'all let me know what y'all think. All right, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. One love, one life. I'm out. Peace.